Hi, I'm Bob. Let's continue solving the problems for Chapter 15, Instrumental Variables Estimation and Two-Stage Least Squares. We will do problems 6 to 11 today. For Part 1 of Problem 6, in the model with one endogenous explanatory variable, One exogenous explanatory variable and one extra exogenous variable. Take the reduced form for y two, and plug it into the structural equation. It gives the reduced form for y one. Find alpha in terms of beta and pi. Follow the instruction. We can write alpha in terms of beta and pi. In part two, we find the reduced form error new one in terms of new one and new two. In part three, how would we consistently estimate the alphas? Looking at the reduced form equation for y one, we can show that the error term new one is uncorrelated with the explanatory variables. C one and C two. So the OLS estimates for alpha zero, alpha one, and alpha two are consistent. That is, we regress Y one on C one and C two by OLS. And the estimated coefficients are consistent. Let's do problem seven. The following is a simple model to measure the effect of a school choice program on standardized test performance. Where score is the score on a statewide test? Choice is a binary variable indicating whether student attended a choice school in the last year. And fair in is family income. The instrument variable for the choice is grant. The dollar amount granted to students to use for tuition at choice schools. The grant amount. Deferred by family income level, so we controlled for family income in the equation. In part one, even with family income in the equation, why might choice be correlated with mu one? The student's characteristics and some of her family background are omitted from the model, and in the error term mu one. For example. A diligent student is more likely to have a good test performance, and she may also tend to attend a choice school. The OLS estimate for the choice school effect on test scores may be upward biased, without considering the diligence. Some families may care more about their children's education and choose a choice school. These families may also have more resources for their children's education. Therefore, their children do well on the test anyway. These unobserved factors are in the error term and would be correlated with the explanatory variable choice. In part two, if within each income class the grant amounts were assigned randomly. 
this grant uncorrelated with mu1. If the grant amounts were assigned randomly within each income class, the variable grant would be uncorrelated with the error term mu1. The grant amounts will not relate to any unobserved factors in the error term, such as family background other than income and the student's personality and characteristics. In part 3, write the reduced form equation for choice. What is needed for grant to be partially correlated with choice? The reduced form equation for choice is as follows. The instrument relevance requirement is pi2 is not equal to zero. In other words, the instrumental variable grant must have some partial effect on the endogenous variable choice in the reduced form equation. To avoid a weak instrument, the rule of thumb is that the F statistic for the significance of the excluded exogenous variable grant is above 10. In part 4, write the reduced form equation for score. Explain why this is useful. The reduced form equation for score is as follows. The coefficient on grant is beta 1 times pi 2. Beta 1 is the partial effect of choice on test scores in the structural equation. Pi 2 is the partial effect of grant on choice in the reduced form equation for choice. The product of them is the effect of the grant on test scores through the channel of choice holding family income fixed. Let's solve problem 8. Suppose we want to test whether girls who attend a girls' high school do better in math than girls who attend co-education schools. We have a random sample of senior high school girls from a state in the United States and score is the score on a standardized math test. Let girl HS be a dummy variable indicating whether a student attends a girl's high school. In part 1, what other factors would be controlled for in the equation? It will be a good idea to control for the school's quality and the student's ability. The former can be captured by the ranking of the school and the ratio of teachers to students. We can use IQ test scores as a proxy for the student's ability. We can also collect some information on the student's family background, such as their parents' education level and their family income. In part 2, write an equation relating score to grow HS and the other factors you listed in part 1. The model is as follows. In part 3, suppose that parental support and motivation 
are unmeasured factors in the atom in Part Two. Are these likely to be correlated with gel excess? Explain. Yes, they are likely to be correlated with whether girls attend a girls' high school. The more supportive and motivated parents are more likely to choose a girls' high school for their daughters. In other words, the choice of a girls' high school is correlated with the Atherton Mu One. In Part Four, discuss the assumptions needed for the number of girls' high schools within a twenty-mile radius of a girl's home to be a Valid instrument variable for whether girls attended a girls' high school. A valid instrumental variable satisfies two requirements: the instrument relevance requirement and the instrument exogeneity requirement. We can verify the instrument relevance requirement by regressing. The endogenous variable of whether girls attend a girls' high school, on the number of girls' high schools within a twenty-mile radius of a girl's home, and other exogenous variables in the structural equation. The instrumental relevance requirement is that pi one is not equal to zero. In the reduced form equation for whether girls attend a girls' high school, the number of girls' high schools must have a partial effect on whether the girl goes to a girls' high school. The instrument exogeneity requirement is likely to hold because the location of the girls' high schools should not relate to any unmeasured factors in the error term. That affect the girls' test scores. After controlling for the ranking of the school, the ratio of teachers to students, the family income, and the parents' education. In Part Five, suppose that when you estimate the reduced form for girl high schools, you find that the coefficient on the number of high schools. Is negative and statistically significant. Would you feel comfortable proceeding with instrumental variables estimation, where the number of high schools is used as an IV for girl high schools? Explain. No, whether the instrument relevance requirement is satisfied depends on a. Consistent estimate of the partial effect of the excluded exogeneity variable on the endogenous variable. In this case, it is based on the consistency of the estimates in the first stage regression. A symptom of the inconsistency of the estimate is that it is against common sense. Or economic series. That is the case if we get a negative and significant coefficient. We should consider whether we omit some important variables that are related to the IV. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.